teachers like Pastor John MacArthur, uh, who teaches that you can take the mark of the beast and still be saved. He's actually taught that. If you don't believe me, go look it up on YouTube. John MacArthur teaches. He said this like a decade or so ago, and he never retracted it, even after he was heavily criticized for it. He teaches that if you take the mark of the beast, you can still repent because of grace and, and be saved. And look, I'm, I'm thankful that John MacArthur was one of the very few pastors in America that withstood the stupid, tyrannical COVID mandates. And, you know, like we did, I still don't know what it's like to wear a mask. You'd have to beat me, you know, and just beat me to a pulp and throw me in the gulag and I still won't wear one. But I, I applaud him, you know, for his extensive understanding also of the historical and theological context surrounding the Bible. He's a smart guy, you know, but what I don't applaud him for is his, his views on the mark of the beast. I don't applaud him for his Calvinistic views and his false teaching also on the blood of Jesus Christ. You know, another false teaching that John MacArthur has taught is that the blood doesn't really matter, that the blood isn't really the point as much as just the death of Jesus Christ. He actually said that even if he didn't shed his blood, as long as he died, that was what the blood is really talking about. And that's a major, you know, that's a major heresy about atonement and the gospel. And so, you know, my Bible says that the life is in the blood and that without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins, right? And so we need to beware of these big time preachers and because some of them have some very strange teachings. You know, we need to be Bereans who test everything against the word of God, including what I teach. You know, test me. I don't mind if, if I'm wrong about something and the Bible is clear, then I'll change my view. But it better be pretty clear because I'm pretty solidified in what I believe. Otherwise, I wouldn't be teaching it, right? And so, you know, but if I'm wrong, you know, show me. And so, you know, it's not to say we can't learn things from John MacArthur. He has good teachings on a lot of other stuff, but you really have to be careful. I like his historical context. I like his bold position on, you know, the culture and against abortion and everything else. I applaud him for those things, for standing up against COVID. I applaud him for that. But be, beware of the doctrine.